The concept of direct clamping is to mechanically squeeze onto the outside of the tube itself, right here. Okay. With a Norvice tube fly system, the approach is to use a clamping screw. That's right here. And that's going to put pressure on the tube, and we're going to use a collet right here to center the tube. Now with flexible tubes, such as this, we're very likely going to use a mandrel to stiffen it. With rigid tubes, we don't have to do that. Here's an example of how to direct clamp a flexible tube using a mandrel to the Norvice. We place the mandrel inside the tube like so. Okay, that makes it stiff and rigid so it doesn't, doesn't bend. Next, we slip the entire assembly into the Norvice tube fly system. Now we can use our little screw like that, puts pressure on the outside here. The collet is going to center it. So now we can rotate it, it's well centered, it's not going to slip or turn. Now your Norvice is going to come with a set of four different collets and mandrels that match. It's going to pretty well accommodate any size tube that I think you're going to want to use. It works really well. The concept of internal clamping is to wedge a tapered needle such as this into the tube. That will be just placed on there and friction is going to hold it in place. Now with the Norvice it's possible to have this perfectly centered and it will work well. With this system the tube itself because it's only being held on by friction does have a tendency to rotate sometimes. You can see it's not all that secure. Another thing to consider is that when we're using soft, flexible tubes like this, we can tie very, very tightly on it and we can't get the fly off the needle when we're finished. That can be a problem. Now the basic idea here is pretty simple. We're going to take the needle, this tapered needle or mandrel, whatever you want to call it, clamp it into the vise like so. Now it's secure. It's not going to slip. It's pretty well centered. Okay. Then we can take our tubing, such as this flexible tube, wedge it on there like that, create the fly on here, and when you're finished, push it off. That's it. Now when you're using a line tube, like this copper tubing, or this is a bottle tube with a liner in it, same sort of thing. You just wedge it onto the needle like so, hmm. tie your fly on here, when you're finished, push it off, and you're done. That's all there is to it. The concept of end clamping is to apply pressure by squeezing the ends of a rigid tube with a mandrel to hold it in place. Here's a rigid tube, you're going to put pressure on the ends of it like that, and that's going to hold it in place on the mandrel. Now with the Norvice tube fly system, it's possible to utilize this concept for very solid clamping, uh, excellent access, and perfect centerline positioning for quite a variety of tube types. As an example, we're going to use a bottle tube here. It doesn't have a liner in it. And we're going to place our mandrel through there. Now we place the mandrel into the Norvice. This clamps the mandrel very solidly to the vise itself. But you can see the, the tube itself is still loose. However, when you screw the collet out against the tube, that puts pressure one end to the other and it's not going to slip anymore. And you can see that it's perfectly centered. You can rotate it. You can spin it. It's a great way to do it. And now we're ready to go.